Derbyshire traffic cops. It does have warning markers for potential firearms. Stand over it! You're under arrest. Attempt to supply class to a drug. Police a thousand square miles. It's a crash, crash. You got any other injury other than your head? With some of the UK's most dangerous roads. I don't know what has been killed out of this. I don't know. Do you know how fast you were going? It's scary when stuff like this happens. In life and death situations. Get on the ground, you'll be tainted! We've got runners. Face down. Yes, yes, successful sting. Around every corner. Ah! Great acting, mate. There's a new challenge for the traffic cops. Step out of the vehicle now! I'm going home. Stay led. Stop grabbing me like that. Coming up. Yep, yeah, vehicles nearly lost it on the bridge. Drivers under the influence putting lives at risk. It's uh, wrong side of the white line system. Can we get to uh, helicopters, please, then? Pass. Vehicle is failing to stop. It is all over the road. It's going to collide with another vehicle. Tip offs forcing officers to take action. To believe that you're intoxicated whilst driving, which clearly you are because you can't even stand up straight. Okay. No one. And a relentless night shift, catching drunk suspects. Gas. to all uh, Oscar Tango mobile units. Can I be making your way, please, towards this uh, vehicle? The uh, driver in this vehicle suspected to be possibly under the influence of drugs. Stinger at this time is authorised. Please ensure you remember your hard cover. Yeah, NA from Oscar Tango 47. I'm just at Arts Hill. 10 miles from Derby city centre. Traffic cop Andy Swift is responding to a report of a suspected drunk driver. Yes, yes, I can confirm it's uh, got two rear passengers. I believe it's got two front, uh, got front passenger as well. Uh, things in kind of it. And I've failed to stop. Yeah, I received. All right, no worries. Uh, I'll make my way. It's that Mercedes, isn't it? There's a vehicle that some divisional officer behind that is originally suspected of being driven by some under the influence of cannabis. The vehicle's failed to stop now for a couple of units, however, those um, are now coming towards us. So we'll try and intercept it. I know that my job on a daily basis is going to be dealing with people in society who are drug users. It's a massive issue um, across the country. I would say that we probably catch more people for, for drug driving now than we do for drink driving. It stays in your system for so long, that's the problem. So people are getting caught out more and more and more. And I just I'll pass it now, fully liveried high performance vehicle, advanced driver, T Pack train. And I assume that uh, there's authority for preemptive tactics. Come in, Sarah, to most of that. Uh, preemptive tactics are authorised uh, with the amount of options coming to the area or so. Yeah, see. As officers keep track of the suspect, and he's ready to intercept. In Tango 47, it's contact contact with that vehicle. So, uh, DRA is currently medium, it's overtaking vehicle, stand by. And uh, it's uh, wrong side of the white line system. Can we get to helicopter, please? M pass. It overtakes vehicles. DRA is medium, back to low. Speed is seven zero. Vehicle is failing to start. Can we get to dog unit, please, as well? I can see there's four occupants of this. I'm unsure if they've got weapons. Front near side appeared to be a black male. Not sure if there's any children on board. And obviously not sure of the intentions or possession of firearms. Yeah, vehicle's nearly lost it on the bridge. Thank you. Continue at this time. Yeah. Fox route 5 the road traffic conditions towards the roundabout are very busy with 
A pursuit can just happen at any moment, but that's human nature, everyone wants to get away, no one wants to get in trouble. The police don't want to start pursuits because there's got to be some sort of end game to them and that brings you to a safe conclusion, which if you're just tearing around the streets with no real plan, it ends up becoming dangerous and obviously there's more chance of people getting injured. The best way to describe a car is if you drive it in the wrong manner, it's just a very heavy killing machine. Speed is 8.5 in a 5.0, entering the 4.0, the DRA is low. Yeah. 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 Up ahead, officers prepare to puncture the car's tyres. Just confirm where the stinger site is, please. Just take him on up It's going to be the, uh, the garage just to turn left. Yeah, he's gone straight on. We've got any vehicles up in the distance? Zero one, we have requested an pass to consider holding bike. Yes, yes. The vehicle is overtaking on slow bike line systems again. Oscar, to Oscar Foster 51, are you able to set up Stinger, please? Yes, yes, take away. Literally, we're about 50 yards behind you. I'm going to hold back here due to the fact that we're going through the heavily built up towns. It's heavy traffic and a lot of pedestrians. It's going to red traffic lights, stand by, stand by. DR8 is high, vehicle is three red traffic lights. You've got five in the city now, 50. You want to have a good pass? We're going to the Derby Channel, we have got Stinger coming towards me. With the pursuit near the outskirts of Derby, there are now five police cars in support. Yeah, we're exiting now. Speed is 7-0-3-0. Driver is becoming more reckless. DRA is medium. I think the best case scenario at the moment is looking about the speed of this and what he's doing is to try and get it stung. Yes, yes, agreed. Oscar Foster 5-1, have you got a location for Stinger? Yeah, vehicle speed is 8-0 and a 4-0. We've got an ET, please, on the uh, helicopter. Yeah, I'll make it best speak to you. What's the latest location, please? Where are you, ARV? Where have you set up? Yeah, 5-1, it's going to be a rush, but we're going to try and set up at the uh, junction of them. Yes, yes, if it carries on, you'll be with you in approximately 30 seconds. We can't see what vehicle's in front of it. Accelerates to 7-0. It's going to be through red. Stand by. 9 0 and 4 0. Derby units, are you set up at all? Negative. The car races past the first units, but other officers are positioned further up ahead. Dan, where are you? Switch your finger on the roundabout, exit the way down. It's gone wrong side, but it's gone wrong side of the roundabout. Correct, back to the correct side. Stung. Yeah, that vehicle has nearly collided. And pass can just advise on some vehicle has been stung. The speeding suspect continues. Just a mile from the busy city centre. Moments later, having crashed the car, the suspects escape on foot. Where is it? Coming up. Got one on the left here. One still running the road. With four suspects on the run. Stay there! Hands up, builder. I'm gonna send the dog over, right? Officers surround the area. Stay there, I'll tease you. Get on the floor now! Get on the floor! Put down your back now! Put down your back now! And more lives put at risk. When was your last drink? What, mate? About two minutes ago. About two <laughs> minutes ago. Okay. Thank you. Two cars to back up road. 
on the outskirts of Derby city centre. Traffic cop Andy Swift is leading a pursuit of a suspected drug driver. Get a left, get the lights, you After crashing into a line of traffic, four suspects are on the run. One on the left here, one for running for road. While officers approach one of the fleeing men, okay. the one, Andy is hunting for the suspected driver. Stay there, I'll tease you. Get on the floor now. Get on the floor. Put behind your back now. Put behind your back now. I didn't do anything. One of my students. Stand up. Stand up. Get up. I'm trying. He's all right. I didn't do anything, man. Right. Just let this bag off. Can you just loosen this one a little bit? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We'll put them around the front and they'll loosen them both. Yeah, thank you. Right. Yeah, that's fine. All right, I'm going to loosen this one a bit, yeah? Thank you. Right, I'm just going to search you, all right? Have you got anything you shouldn't have? No, because you stink of cannabis. Okay. So have you got any cannabis on you? No, I've got no. it. OK, all right, no worries. Yeah. Have you got boxes on? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to strip you naked, that's all. Yeah. All right, matey, I'll have a quick glance in your bag. Uh, we'll sit you in there, all right, for the moment. Yeah. Swing your legs in, pal. Swing them in. Get some details from you. Oh, right. You say your staff. What do you mean by staff? Well, basically, I work at a college. I teach every right. day. I was working outside of college. I do it myself, self-employed. Right. Working with the students, the guys are smoking weed, and obviously they've got away because they're smoking weed. All right. I literally ran out of fear, my man. Right, so okay, all right, mate. Um, all right. So at this time, you're under arrest on suspicion of the following things. So, um, driving a motor vehicle dangerously. Okay, okay. Let me finish. Failing to stop for the police. Um, theft of motor vehicle. Okay, and also for driving a motor vehicle, you're under suspect under Section Four of the Road Traffic Act, which is driving a motor vehicle. I suspect you might be driving it. I'm All right. Tango Sierra Four, receiving four seven. With the suspected driver facing questioning at the police station. Have you got anything on you that you shouldn't have? No. Nothing at all? Traffic cop Sergeant Scott Riley detains a second suspect. Take it known to the police, buddy. Something like that, I thought it might be something like that. Hello. I think this is some sort of bizarre school day out. That's, that's a teacher. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Oh, One, two, three. <sighs> he is known to us. He's got a weapons marker. He's previously been in possession of a knife. Weapons found at home has proved to be a machete, a hammer, an axe, a crowbar, a zombie knife. He's uh, violent in custody. He's also violent towards police officers. Have we gone for theft of motor vehicle and dangerous driving? Fail to stop. Gone dangerous driving? Theft of motor vehicle as well? Well, who's is it? It's not these, is it? Mm, long passengers, right? Well... You further arrested him under Section 4 of the Road Traffic Act as well for driving whilst on the influence or drinking from drugs. Yeah. Long passengers, right? Right. Well, you're further under arrest for theft of motor vehicle, all right? Yeah. I'll see if you can borrow one of them. CCTV and have a look for equipment, so you just say... Tell you what, we'll do it the old-fashioned we'll do it the old fashioned way, we'll interview right. you. Well, there's no point interviewing, because I'm just going to... I'm the passenger, there's nothing much to say about the passengers, is there? Well, just, just embrace me, I'm old fashioned. Won't you take these off while I'm in the back of you? No, mate, absolutely not. Sick find! A dog handler arrives to help search for the two remaining suspects. I'm going to hedge my bet, it's the easiest way for him to go, is that way. Yeah. I'll go okay. where, the, where I think this leads out. In it. Right, yeah, alright, you fashion off. I'm not gonna run. Right, climb over now then. You gave it away because I well, as soon as you dragged me here, I can smell the cannabis. So I'm gonna try and get round in a front garden maybe. Because I'm not throwing her over there. While the third runaway is detained, a police helicopter is above. Press five, one or two. Looking for the final suspect. Can you ask what's your fight to? What's that male wearing? 
Black with a top, black track to bottom, black trainers, man bag. Black shoulder left there, that five foot five. Where the vehicles crash, it's a couple of really large houses and it's the back of there. That's five foot five. Hiya. What ethnicity was he? Red baseball hat or black. All right, thank you. Ah. Somebody's told me that an offender's come down here with a red hat in his hand. There's a red hat there, so I'm just going to start clearing some gardens this way. He's probably thrown that hat as he's walked by, you know, because it's identifiable. The helicopter's probably more used than we are right now. From Oscar Juliet 60, I think we're probably one vendor outstanding here. Direction of travel from here is unknown. From what the witness has said, I think this uh, outstanding male would have been um, outside of the containment that we put on initially. So if he'd have carried on going, he'll be long gone by now. Uh, yeah, there's lots of outbuildings, but none that seem particularly ajar or disturbed. I'm not seeing anyone lying low fit in the description, I'm afraid. And past us received. Thanks for your assistance. Back at the crash scene. I think, I think, Jack, if we can get this one gone, and then as you say, reverse that one out. Sergeant Riley is coordinating the clear up. Then at least we can cone out, open one lane, and get a bit of normality back. We'll see if we can get that one out of the barriers and just try and get the traffic moving because it, it's uh, quarter to five, so we're in the sort of height of rush hour at the minute. So unfortunately, we've got a poor member of the public who's innocently sat at the lights with another member of the public the other side of them. The offending vehicles tried to squeeze through and then it's all just come to a stop because there's not enough room for the white Mercedes to get through. The white Mercedes is a rental car, so we've got some inquiries to do there. Go ahead, Swifty. Do we never find the fourth one? No, we never found the fourth one, mate, but we've got three. From what you're saying, I think we've got the drive, haven't we? I think there was, a, if you look at the log, there was a member of the public that described the driver exactly as that, uh, a black male wearing a grey top. There we are. Um, so yeah, as you just heard from that update, the priority now is to try and work out who the driver is. If we've got a member of the public here at the scene that's seen it, that person get out, then that statement's going to be key. We've now got three in custody and we're not sure of who the driver is. I've detained one, potentially the driver has been detained by a Swifty and then we've got one other detained by the helicopter and the dog unit. So we're going to have to do the drug drive procedure with all three of them. So there's a lot of work to do now. So the next thing is to get recovery for all these vehicles, get to custody and, and start looking at the investigation. The only positive about how it's ended is nobody's been hurt. The risk is totally unnecessary. They don't have to deal with the aftermath and the families. It's all that's left to pick up the pieces. It's fantastic that Dan's managed to get the stinger under the vehicle. And actually, we might only have a no insurance or a drug drive. Yeah, the drug drive is a serious defence, no insurance is a serious defence, but it's not serious enough to warrant killing somebody. In custody, the suspected driver is being processed by traffic cop Chris Wells Jackson. You're under investigation because you are suspected of driving a motor vehicle whilst unfit to do so through drink or drugs. Reason for it was in the car. Oh, it was in the car, okay. Well, I just now. So, either way, there's a suspicion that we're completely not unfit to, uh, through drugs. So, was it right? Yeah, potentially, yeah. We've got to rule it out as part of the investigation, okay. The only reason I'm getting like that is because I'm teaching it and I'll see I get that, yeah. So. Stick your tongue out for me. So um, there's already a, a red line coming up to indicate that you've got cannabis in your system, all right. So I'm just going to further arrest you on suspicion of driving whilst over the prescribed limit for cannabis. Okay. Um, if you get cold or anything, you can have blankets. Go over to the So uh, when they bring you food, just tell them to come up. All right. A book. 
A lot of people don't realise how dangerous pursuits are and when people are willing to drive at silly speeds, especially at three, four o'clock in the afternoon through busy built-up areas where there's a lot of traffic, a lot of pedestrians, they're just not realising the risk that they're putting themselves and other people at. And ultimately, if a collision had occurred, especially with the pedestrians, there's a good chance they would have been looking at a serious injury or a fatality and they don't realise that they're looking at a very long prison sentence if that happens. Every year across the UK, there are thousands of convictions for driving under the influence of drink or drugs. I think anybody's bedded these brakes in yet. They're not as sharp as they were before uh, it went in for some new one. Near the start of a 12-hour night shift, traffic cop Chris Wells Jackson is back on patrol. Hello, it's garbage police calling. You've rang in a report about a possible drink driver. Uh, just calling to confirm, is he still there or has he left yet? Yep, that's perfect. I'll let our officers know. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Four nine, I monitored that. Can you just stick a job on for it and a time to it and I'll have a look at it. We've had some information about a drink driver uh, in Chesterfield driving a black Honda Civic. We've got to go and uh, check if he's still at the pub that he's drinking in. It's been reported that he's so drunk that he can barely stand up and that this is a regular occurrence. And hopefully we'll catch him before he leaves. The problem is we're seeing drink driving more and more now than I've ever known it in 10 years of policing. Unfortunately, we see the devastation that drink driving causes. And there's nothing worse than having to knock on a family member's door and tell them that their loved one's not coming home. So it's really one of our top priorities to uh, catch drink drivers make sure they get the license taken off them. Chris checks on the suspect's local. Right, so that's his bar there. So I'm just going to spin round up here and walk. We'll... Civic there. Yeah, that's the one. I don't think you'll see us from here, to be fair, and I'll be able to see him coming out of there. Yeah, that's fine. I see him coming out now, actually. Yep. An eight tango, four nine. It's weaving towards the kerb and nearly hitting parked cars. Yeah, I've got contact with that vehicle. I'll put a stop in shortly. All that's going through my mind is this idiot is going to kill somebody, and I need to do something about it as soon as I can. It is all over the road, it's going to collide with another vehicle, so I'm going to light it up now. And a vehicle's failing to stop at present, it's speed 25 in a 30. Stand by, I've got brakes. Got no side indication, it's pulling over, stand by. Take your keys out. Put your window down. Vehicle stop, stand by. Right, I believe that you've got a, a drink, okay, and that you might be uh, driving whilst under the influence of alcohol, okay. So okay. can you just put your dog back in the car and step out for me? So yeah. I need to breathalyze you. I can smell alcohol on you now. Yeah. Okay, just put, just yeah. leave the dog in the vehicle and just step out for me. Okay. Yeah. The reason I'm handcuffing you is because you might be a bit unpredictable. Just pass me the other hand for me. Just pass me the other hand. Thank you. Just step out for me. So at the moment you're being detained because I believe that you're intoxicated whilst driving, which clearly you are because you can't even stand up straight. Okay. Okay. Just come to the side of the vehicle. Just sit in there for a minute. Yeah, no problem. When was your last drink? Uh, Come on, mate. About two minutes ago. About two <laughs> minutes ago, okay. Have you got anybody at home that can take care of that dog? Yes. Yeah, okay, so if I get my colleague to set the dog back to your address? Yes. Okay, so at the moment you're under arrest on suspicion of driving a motor vehicle whilst unfit through drink, okay? So yeah. you don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you don't mention when questions, something which will later align in court, and anything you do say may be given evidence. Okay. okay. So what will happen is we'll go to a police station. You're going to be putting a breathalyzer. Do you understand that? Yeah. yeah, no problem. 
Hey, mate, you're all right. Um, could you just drop his dog off at his home address where his dad is, and I'm going to take him off to custody? It's just up the road, apparently. Right, I'm going to search you. All right, so just keep your hands yeah, out your yeah, pockets I'll, for yeah, me. Fine. Just keep your hands out your pockets. Oh, don't worry about it. No, it doesn't matter. Keep your hands I'm out sorry. your pockets because that's what I'm asking you to do. Yeah. Keep your hands out your pockets. Okay. Well, I've asked you several times and you're not complying with what I've said. I don't know what you've got in your pockets until I search you. I'm going to shut your door. Okay, so just watch yeah, your leg. I can clearly see that he's not capable of driving a vehicle, and it's very obvious that he's intoxicated. So I don't even bother breathalysing him at the roadside because there's no point, he's clearly unfit to drive. Coming up. Do you agree to provide two specimens of breath for analysis? A frustrating test. I don't know. With a shocking result. So that's four times the legal drink drive limit. And it's a busy night shift. As the traffic cops deal with the drunk and angry. What? He's pulling me up! Gas! Starbridge Police calling. You've rang in a report about a possible drink driver. Uh, just calling to confirm, is he still there or has he left yet? After a tip-off, an hour into a 12-hour night shift, traffic cop Chris Wells-Jackson is taking a man suspected of drink driving to custody. What have you been arrested for before? I'll find out when I get to custody. It's not a problem. I was just... Uh, just asking. Well, nothing serious, but... <laughs> OK. okay. Was it drink driving by any chance? Uh, that was a long time ago. Was it? Okay. We probably get 10, 15 calls a day that are basically a member of the public telling us that they've witnessed somebody that's drink driving, whether that be they sat next to them in a pub or they're a neighbour or just a general passerby that's witnessed somebody drinking whilst they're driving. Jump out for me, just watch your step and watch your head. You're all right. But in reality, it's probably more than that. That's just people that are willing to ring us and give us that information. Just take a seat on that chair for me. Okay, so do you agree to provide two specimens of breath for analysis? I do, but I have to state that I am asthmatic. I don't know if I can blow long enough. Okay, I've noted that on here as you reply. Your first sample, take a hold of that. Nice deep breath and keep blowing until I tell you to stop. Blow, steadily. Blow, 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 harder, harder, harder. Blow harder, harder, harder than that. Keep going. Listen. Trying. The device knows whether you're blowing or not, and at the moment you're not. So blow as hard as you can. Blow, 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 blow. Right, okay. So that's what that's done. It's detected that you were blowing, but you've not filled that bar enough, okay? So you weren't quick enough. I appreciate you saying you've got asthma, but normally people with asthma can manage it. So, you ready? Nice deep breath. Blow, 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 That's your first one. So you can do it. So we need to do one more. Blow, 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 blow. So you need to keep the tube in your mouth. I've run out of breath. I can't blow any longer. But unfortunately, if we don't provide this last sample, you'll be prosecuted for failing to provide because we need two samples, okay? Right, this is going to be your last chance, okay? Blow, 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 blow. Can you get me somebody to do a different test? No, because you've already provided one sample, so you're capable of providing another one, okay? You were taking the tube out your mouth while you were still blowing. It's not going to let you do any more, unfortunately. Right, so I can't blow. Just grab a seat for Sorry. Right, the legal limit is 35. Yeah. The first breath specimen that you provided 
is 142. So that's four times the legal drink drive limit. Uh, what was your time for rest, mate? Uh, it was 20.56. So at the moment, yeah. you're further under arrest for failing to provide a sample for, for analysis, okay. And he only, he only lives 500 yards from the pub. He could have walked in 10 minutes. Fingers crossed, we'll, uh, we'll get a good conviction on him. To me, drink drivers are selfish. They've always got that conscious decision to make whether they get behind that wheel or not. Nobody forces them to do it. If somebody's sat in a pub drinking all day long, they know what they're doing. They know they're going to be over the drink drive limit. So they've got a certain arrogance about them for them to take that risk in the first place. And especially people that only live three or four minute walk away. It just absolutely angers me they're taking that risk and even in that short distance they could easily kill somebody. With the first drink driver of the night shift off the road, Control receives a call. Yeah, from an A, got a report of a possible DIC drink driver. Vehicles are currently all over the road, swerving between lanes, and nearly hit a couple of lorries. We've just come back up from dealing with a drink driver, and um, another call's come in for another drink driver up in the Chesterfield area. It's currently driving round close to the town centre. We've got plenty of units up there to deal with it. We'll listen up and see if it starts heading towards our direction, then we'll head out and assist. Yes, yes. I'll say thanks. Just a few miles away, traffic cop Dan Mitchell is racing to help local Chesterfield officers stop the suspect. Right, we've got a possible drink driver coming up the other side of town. This is very, very naughty, so hopefully we can uh, pick them up. We've got to try and mitigate risk by using our tactics and using our driver training to bring it to a, a safe stop. And some of the ways that we can do that is by using what we call preemptive tactics, just to try and negate that requirement for it to go into a pursuit. As Dan makes his way across town, a local unit spots the suspect. He doesn't know I'm here. He's got absolutely no sort of status of what he's doing. And hey, I've just come off at, uh, at Asda. As soon as authorised. Can I have a finger location, please? Yeah, 24. I'll be about a minute behind. I'm not going to get a sight set up. Fox Trot 72, show us travel where we'll be a couple of minutes. Hey, for 4-1. I'm not sure if it's in front of me or behind me, so I'll sit here for a minute or so. As Dan parks up... That was a bit of luck, wasn't it? ..the suspect drives by. And Dan takes the lead. He's going to decamp. Just watch for decamp. But with the driver slowing, Dan and the team surround the car. What's all that about? What? What's all that about? A what? Driving like that. Hello, just uh, for information. All officers are okay and there's no damage to vehicles. Yeah, thank you, sir. Um, is he disqualified then, is he? Is he DL? Yeah, he is. Thank you. Let's have a 165 recovery then, please. Have you got a dragon, mate? Yes, mate. All right, mate, due to the manner you're driving, I can smell alcohol on your breath. I'm going to make a requirement for you to provide a sample of breath. Oh, Sorry? Oh, cool, so uh, I'm required to provide me a sample of breath. I must warn you that failure or refusal to provide a sample of breath is an offence for which you can be arrested for. 
Are you able to provide me a sample of breath? Yeah. Have you had anything alcoholic to drink in the last 20 minutes? No. No? Any medical reasons as to why you can't provide me with a sample? No? Okay. What I tell you to do so, make a nice tight seal around the mouthpiece with your lips, take a nice deep breath and make one continuous blow. Whilst you're blowing the machine will beep and then it will click at the end but I'll tell you when to stop, okay? Nice deep breath. I'll stop one now, what a stop. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going and stop, thank you. Legal limit's 35, pal. Alright pal, so the reading's 93, okay, so you're over the legal limit. So at this moment in time, you're under arrest on suspicion of you, uh, theft of motor vehicle. Uh, theft of motor vehicle, driving whilst disqualified, and driving whilst over the prescribed limit and dangerous driving. So you do not. Hold on. Are you intimidating me? I'm not intimidating anyone. No one. Well, good, because you're not intimidating me. You. What? Ain't pulling me up. Gas. Gas! And he pulled me over, you pulled me over, you shit bad. Anybody around? Ah! And he pulled me over, you pulled me over. Come on, let him. You shit bad. Can I. Fango Share 4. Mail's blown 93, he's been arrested for a plethora of offences, he's then started kicking off. So he's been taken out of the car, he has been gassed, and he's currently being uh, restrained on the floor. All right, so we're going to take this strap. We're going to put you inside of the van. If you're going to kick off, you're going to be put down on the floor. Do you understand me? You better behave. Done. So that's a good result. Um, Pursuit's come to a conclusion. You've got the driver detained, nobody's been injured. Um, from the sounds of it, there's no damage. He's been safely detained and I'm sure we'll see him downstairs shortly. So at the moment, it's 10 to 11 at night. We started at seven o'clock and already we've got two prisoners for drink drivers. And uh, there's still a lot that can happen between now and the end of the shift. Coming up, the team's busy night shift continues. Dan's had a short fail to stop and then the vehicle has stopped when our Dan's not answering his radio. I don't know if he's fighting with him or what. With another suspected drunk driver. I'm not a criminal, mate. I'm not. Nobody I'm said not you're a criminal. criminal. I'm literally at home here. I'm literally at home. Location, Dan. Dan's got a fail to stop. Nearing the end of a busy night shift. Traffic cop Chris Wells Jackson and his colleagues have already arrested two suspected drink drivers and are now in pursuit of a third. Dan's had a short fail to stop and then the vehicle has stopped when our Dan's not answering his radio. Initially, it's quite worrying when your colleague tells you they've got a vehicle failing to stop and then the vehicle stops and then you get nothing from them. You obviously think that they're having a fight with the person. Now, can we open his airwaves? Yes, yes, uh, the sheriff's already doing that, um, but he's not struggling, but he is um, currently detaining someone if you miss our waves, does it? Alright, speed activated. We'll protect mode activated. Which one is it, that, that Audi there? The hammered. Oh, Looks like there's a third one tonight. This is a blown 46, which is just over the uh, legal limit, but still above the charging threshold, so we're taken to custody. That's probably the reason that he's failed to stop for a short distance. If the driver blows over at the station, he'll receive a minimum 12 month ban from the roads. So I'm, I'm literally at my house, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm literally at my house, there's no way we can sort it. No, we have to go and do an evidential procedure down at custody, all right? That's how it has to be. Uh, I'm coming back down anyway, so I'll follow you. There's no way we can sort it out yeah, here, yeah, you know, I know, I know, my yeah. but I am coming back down anyway. I'm literally at home here, I'm literally at home. We're going to have to deal with it at the moment, all right? 
I'm not a criminal, mate. I'm not. Nobody not said you're a criminal. Hello. However, yeah, you have to make it a positive I'm sample. Like, look alcohol. how many's yeah. here, bro. For me, I'm not, I'm not yeah. a criminal by any means. Talk it about it later. So at the moment, this chap's been a little bit aggressive because he's upset that Dan's stopped him whilst he was he's drunk. And because he's outside his home address, he thinks he can get away with it by going home. He's took the chance and thought, three, four o'clock in the morning, I can drive home and I'll probably not see a police vehicle. But unfortunately for him, Dan drove straight past him and his vehicle stood out a little bit. So he's been arrested uh, and they're going to transport him down to Ripley and put him on the evidential breath machine. He's just over the drink drive limit at the moment. So uh, it could go either way for him really at this point. At custody. Better a second. The angry driver who failed to stop for Dan has arrived. Look at you, in Tinder. To undergo his evidential breath test. A little bit harder, carry on, keep going, carry on, keep going, carry on. That's it, well done. He blew 94, so he'll be better down for the morning. I've been out to a wedding and it nicked his missus' car and uh, decided to go for a bit of a drive round. He's already disqualified through red lights, wrong side of the road, solid lights and all that sort of stuff. And then Mr. Head stung it. And then he's decided to come to a stop, hasn't he? Yes. Seeing the error, error of his ways. The man arrested close to his house has now also been processed. Very, very luckily by the skin of his teeth. Blue under. And he's on his way home. It's frustrating for us because that person was over the limit and now half an hour later in a custody suite, they're just under the limit. But hopefully for him it's a wake up call as well to think that that could have been his license gone for 12 months or it could have been somebody that went over his bonnet and he killed them because he made a bad decision. So we've had my drink driver. My drink driver. Your drink driver. He was very annoyed, the gentleman that we stopped. Was he? Yeah, Dan's drink driver. Dan's but he's got away. Yeah, all in all, a very good night. Every year, thousands of people in the UK are killed or seriously injured in incidents involving drugged or drunk drivers. It happens every day. It's just a horrendous thing to have to keep dealing with. These drink drivers involved in collisions because they're over the drink drive limit. It absolutely terrifies me that one day I might hear a call coming on the radio that it's one of my family members with my child in the back of the car and they're not going to come home tonight because a selfish person's killed them because they couldn't be bothered to get a taxi. In this episode... Stay there, I'll tease you. Get on the floor now! Get on the floor now! Put down your back now. Put down your back now! The suspected drug driver who failed to stop for Andy has been released on bail. Take it down to the police, buddy. The other two suspects arrested at the scene. Stay there! Hands up, builder. I'm going to send the dog over, right? Have been released without further action. Inquiries are continuing to identify the driver. But the registered keeper has been sent a notice of intended prosecution. The fourth suspect has never been identified. Right, I believe that you've got a, a drink, OK, and that you might be... Uh driving whilst under the influence of alcohol, OK. The man who Chris suspected was almost four times over the limit was charged with failure to provide. At court, he was banned from driving for 28 months and received a community service order. The drunk, disqualified young man, pursued by Dan Mitchell, was banned from the roads for a further 19 months and convicted of drink driving, driving whilst disqualified, no licence and no insurance. He received a £500 fine and was placed on curfew and electronically tagged. No action was taken for the assault on an emergency worker. So I'm, I'm literally at my house, yeah. yeah. I'm literally at my house, there's no way we can sort it out. been caught with driving, though. And the driver that was stopped when nearly home was released without charge. <laughs> 